Hey everyone, how are you? Thought I'd get in earlier today, but no, nah, it's still late. It starts at 3am, good on me. Uh, and they wonder why people say, oh, don't you ever sleep? Well, obviously not. But I'm still bubbly and excited and, you know, ready to go, keep going. I'm weird that way. Uh, I'll wait till some, I know some people are on and I'll, um, I'll get stuck in. A few things to talk about. Um, to cover just about everything, I think, today. Um, lots of stuff happening. Um, firstly, all thanks to Chuck. He's just sent me a, um, uh, a doc to look at with uh, the FA FAQ and, um, and uh, Terms of Service uh, for, the, for, the, for the site. He's a very, very smart man, is Chuck Shaddock. Uh, he does a lot of uh, videos and uh, he has a Zoom room where uh, many members have gone to do a video testimonial with him um, that he uh, puts together for us. And so um, I've still got to review some of those. Oh, God, I'll catch up to it. <laughs> and uh, we'll get them on YouTube and things like that. Uh, video testimonials are some of the best ways of doing it. So if you don't know who Chuck is, um, uh, find out because he's, he's he's in the room and he's he's a very uh, he's very big on helping uh, Bitcoin Ascension get to where it is. So that's all great. Hi everyone, it's good to see you all. Um, okay, where do I start? Okay, the five hundred dollar giveaway uh, we announced uh, the uh, winners last night, which was Rosemary Ashford, Kathy Sampson, and Laura Thunman. And I picked someone out as a consolation prize uh, for participating, and that was Sue Costello. Um, I believe all th four of those people have now been paid, although with Sue um, Costello, she asked me just, she made uh, three accounts and I'm just funding those three accounts for her. It comes to about $100, a few bucks over, but that, I don't care, you know. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm not that I'm not that bad with, with, with money that, you know, I'm going to say, oh, no, no, you know, you're $4 short. <laughs> God, oh, you should have met my ex-wife. <laughs> If I was ever four dollars short, I'd never hear the end of it for a year. Uh, now you know why she's next, eh? <laughs> okay, so they've all been paid. Um, so congratulations to them. Um, they don't have to buy accounts with them if they don't want to. The money is theirs for participating and, and helping Bitcoin Ascension grow. So um, uh, I'm really happy they, they, they've made some money. So that was basically a $600 giveaway because, because I chipped in as well. Um, but Tom, uh, true to his word, paid him. So I gave him the uh, addresses, Bitcoin addresses, and he and he sent the money out. So uh, thank you, Tom, for for running that uh, giveaway competition. Uh, considering how many accounts he's given away, how much cash he's given away, oh my God, I don't know, you know, how he does it. To be honest, he. Um, uh, one thing about Tom, and I'll be talking about Tom in a little bit, but uh, he, he does a lot of different programs. He markets for us, but he does a lot of different programs, and, and there's reasons why he does that. And it's not just for him to make millions of dollars or anything like that. So I'll be going into that soon, because that ties in with something else. Um, but I want to talk about other stuff first. So congratulations to the ladies, and uh, I think the guys need to step up a bit. <laughs> of course, the guys are doing a great job. Um, but uh, the the sisters the sisterhood did it did it on that giveaway I tell you um, the other thing I was talking to Asif my programmer now usually usually this is a Sunday is his holiday um, but he's still working uh, which so big thank you to Asif for working on the thing uh, I was asking him about it and he says with the program he's doing it it goes through every single upgraded position in the whole matrix system so there's over. 3,300 of those that it's going through to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. So it is taking a little bit of time, but it will do it right, which is the important thing. You know, you either want it done fast or you want it done right, you know. We don't want a Band-Aid fix, we want a solution uh, to that little problem. So um, please have patience. Uh, we, don't, we don't want to rush it and get it wrong. and We don't want anyone missing out. So um, it is actually currently working right now and, and, and going through each account. And re well, not rebuilding the matrix, but making sure everything is where it's supposed to be in the matrix system. So thank you very much, Asif, for um, doing something on your holiday, which is um, a, a very big thing to ask of anyone. Um, I'm not overly religious myself, but I understand the importance of it all. So um, I just like helping people and doing good. It doesn't really make me religious, just makes me a decent person, <laughs> um, like the rest of you guys. So um, so that's I'm always keeping you guys updated with what's going on with things like that. So. Um, you don't have to ask the question. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you're still waiting to get attached or uh, still wait till it, it's coming. Don't worry, guys, it's coming. It's, it's all good. 
Uh, the faster we do it, the better, obviously, but obviously we have to get it done right. Um, otherwise the problem will keep cropping up and we don't want that, do we? No, we don't. Look, I'm shaking. The whole iPad's just shaking. No, no, we don't want to do that, Ivan. Yes, yes, Ivan, you're amazing. Oh, God, that freaking me out. Okay, I'll stop, doing, I'll stop being so... You can tell it's after three, can't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a nutter. It's all right. Okay, um, other things uh, out of the days up again. Um, obviously, our advertising is doing well. Um, uh, the people who are jumping on out of the day, more of you can. So um, and so so get stuck in. Uh, and this isn't brainwashing. It's just common sense when it comes to um, running running any sort of program or business. Advertising matters. It really really does. And um, and and I, I like to think the matrix speaks for itself. And um, and I like to think that I can be counted on to be a, a, a decent decent owner and, and things like that. So people can put trust into into the program. Um, this is where we're we'll touching on a few things. Um, what to do when you get spammers on your po on your posts uh, or negative people on your posts? If they're asking a simple question, like I think there was one, uh, this sounds too good to be true, and um, I think it was I think it was Lura um, saying, "What do I say?" To I know oh, well, Louise Church. What do I say of something like that? And I said, "You just type back to them and say no." It's good and it's true, not too good to be true. It's I've said it before and, and that's why, and it, apparently it works, so <laughs> that's really good. But you will get some very negative people on the posts. The reason that's happening is because we are doing well, there are some people who will do anything to close down a program because they don't want to see it succeed. Otherwise, other uh, reasons such as some reasons are they have their own program where they want to recruit people and seeing us working together so well, um, it scares them. It really, really does. It'll scare program owners. It'll scare people who have joined other programs and going, basically, shit. You know, <laughs> these guys are really organized and I'm here by myself because I have to run off a referral link or something like that, so I've got to do it on my own. Unlike us who work all together. Anyone can grab anyone's person from anyone's ad because it's just one link. So I, th I find that fair. Now, some of the negative stuff I've seen today and I've been shown today uh, is against Tom. Um, now, there are reasons that, that some people dislike our, our Tom, um, and a lot of people, a lot of you wouldn't know. And it's not a big, big deal, but it's been made out to be a big, big deal. So uh, I'll talk about Tom for, for just a couple of minutes. Um, a couple of years ago, Tom Kent ran a program, right, called Flip the Seeds. You'll probably hear about it if you get the negatives and stuff like that. He ran a program called Flip the Seeds, right? It was an advertising program. Basically, it was making everyone a lot of money, including himself. Now, the third party he used in that program, um, because he didn't do all the advertising, he ran it through a third party, they were like a lot of programs you get into, they up and left with all the money. That's what happened. Now, in most cases, when you jump into programs like that, you basically kiss your money goodbye, bugger. We've all been in programs like that where we've just said goodbye to our money and our dreams, right? Now, what Tom did, he felt responsible and... So he says, look, I'll refund everyone. Now, we had a lot of people in the program, and there was a lot of money they invested in it. So it's taken him a couple of years to be able to do this because he had to start basically from scratch. Okay, so um, now you think to yourselves, how much money have you made in the last two years? You know, grinding away, working away. Have you made of something in the, in, in the region of about a million dollars? Of course you haven't, otherwise you wouldn't be here, right? So that's why Tom does a lot of programs. And, and, and hustles as fast as he can, he needs to get the commissions because he has to make refunds. Now, a lot of people don't know that he's making refunds and they're waiting on refunds. He's got a, a list where he's paying people back. And a lot of people aren't in communication with him or with the group he has or anything like that because some people went bananas. It was a haters group. They put up bad videos about him saying what a scammer he is and things like that. Didn't have any facts. This is just they created the fear like people like to do and bang. And yes, he still owes people money, but he's paid off a huge percentage of those people in the last couple of years. And if he could have done it just like that, he would have. But obviously he can't. I mean, even I can't. You know, and I've been working for a couple of years. Even I haven't made that sort of money. So um, that's that's the truth behind it. Um, he did have the, um, the fraud squad here in Brisbane investigate him. They couldn't do anything about it because he hasn't done anything wrong. He's paying people back. He's refunding people as fast as he can. Um, now, a lot of people get, get narky when, when he's advertising, saying, look, I'm making $500 a day and things like that. Um, and, and, and he is. 
and a lot of that is going into repaying people back and, and things like that. But some of these people don't see that because they're not in the group where he's, where he's got this group because they were all narky and they were kicked out for being violent, basically, towards him, threatening him and things like that. Um, it, was, it was a very nasty time a couple of years ago. Um, but he didn't give up. This is what you've got to take from it. He did not give up. He didn't run away. He could have closed down his Facebook account. He could have probably pretty much disappeared, right, for the most part. Um, he didn't. He stuck around. And he, and he gets ridiculed and, and, and called names and stuff like that. And what does he do? He keeps going. Now, you know, some of you may have been involved in that, in that program a couple of years ago. And, um, and some of you have been refunded and some of you probably haven't. I've told him not to bother refunding me for the, the money he would have owed me. Well, I don't believe he really owed me the money. You take the risk when you go into business, but he, you know, said he was going to do it. So kudos to him because 100% of other, any other program I've been in, they've taken off. That's it. You've lost your money. Simple as that. So, um, but he didn't do that. So he gets a bit of ridicule. They call him a scammer and things like that. And it's simply not true. If they had one fact to support that, oh, he owes me money from Flip the Seats. I've just explained to you what he's doing. So that's just a, a little recap. So if you get any negativity on your um, posts uh, about Tom being a scam, so therefore Bitcoin Ascension's a scam, which is really stupid considering I own the program. You know, I control everything in the program. You know, Tom doesn't. Tom is the marketing guru behind all of this. I, I run the program. He doesn't, he can't get into coin payments, nothing like that, although I would trust him to, all right? But he doesn't, he doesn't need to, so he doesn't bother. You know, that's that's me, okay? And uh, and it's automated anyway, so, <laughs> but I, only I can get into coin payments, he can't get into coin payments. So um, that's, that's just that little bit of extra security for you, for, for you people who may doubt, okay? I run the program, Bitcoin Ascension is mine, so I find it a bit insulting when, when, when people say, oh, Bitcoin and Ascension to scam because Tom Kent's in it. That's just plain ridiculous, you know. Um, but that's the way people are. So if people like that are messaging you privately, because this is what the haters do, they get really zealous about it, you know, they're bang, bang, oh, we've got to stop everyone. All, all they're really doing is they, they're just stopping you from succeeding. That's all it is, okay? We've already shown that Bitcoin Ascension pays. Uh, we've run all our competitions and promotions and everyone's been paid. So, you know, I, I, whatever they're saying, it's basically not true. And I'm not having a go at them because I can understand what it's like to be scammed. We've been scammed before. We've lost money. These people have been promised money and it'll come, but it's not fast enough for them. Well, I'm sorry. It's hard to make up that sort of money in a very short period of time. It's not, it's not easy. At, believe me, he goes into high-risk stuff. And, and they close down a lot sort of thing and he makes a bit of a profit and he pays back the money. He's not like living in a mansion. He, he rents a small house, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it's not like he's living the high life or anything like that. So um, so that's a little backstory there for you. As I said, we'd, full transparency here, guys. It's basically the facts of what happened, okay? Now, it, you know, whether, whether he ran the business perfectly or not, is irrelevant considering it wasn't him that ran off with the money. It was a, it was a third party, and he and he proved that, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, he proved that it was a third party that ran away with all the money, including his. All right, so he got screwed over probably more so than the rest of us did. So, um, so in terms of the market, you get any of that negative stuff, basically delete, block the person, and things like that because you don't need that negativity in your life. If they're mistaken, they've been told a lot of stories, which they'll believe. That's why I won't have a go at them because I can understand where they're coming from, but it's not their right to go on to my company, my program's posts, and, and, and start having a go and saying, we, you've all been brainwashed, and oh, some horrible things they're saying. And, and it's basically saying, you're stupid. You know, and I find that a little insulting when they're calling the members here stupid, because we're, we're, we're trying, to, trying to build our dreams. Now, I think we've already proven in the last 100 days, you know, that we're the real deal. So, um, you know, I, but I, I figure you have a right to know, okay? If, you, if you're getting that sort of stuff on your, on your um, uh, advertising, block the person, delete it. If you get message privately, just ignore it. You can either block them or just don't answer the message, you know, or they, don't argue with them. There's no point. You can never argue with a person, right, who believes they are right. They're never going to listen to reason. It's as simple as that. 
okay? So do not waste your time and don't let that bad energy flow into you. We're only about good energy here because it's only good energy that makes you successful, not bad energy. It doesn't make you successful. Always be educated, enlightened to all angles and things like that. But in the end, be positive, okay? That's all I can do. I, 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 there's no magic wand I can do. I can't do it any other way. I can only be me and, and, and tell you the truth, you know, or you can hear to someone who's heard it from someone who's heard it from someone. So... I was, I was there when it all happened. I was an admin. I came in the last few months of uh, Flip the Seeds. I wasn't there from the beginning. I was brought in by the other admin, actually. John didn't even appoint me as an admin. Uh, the, the admin had full control of everything that was happening there. So they, they put me in, and I saw what was going in there, on in there, and I was going, oh, my God, you know. <laughs> so what, what's going on here, you know? And, um, and that's when the, the, that, that uh, third party scarpered uh, with the money and... Uh, and uh, I'll tell you, uh, that sort of money, uh, him being as young as he is, and still standing up and saying, I, I will pay people back and not running away, that only shows me a, a, a strong person, okay? He may not be the perfect guy. Put up your hand if you are, you can't, obviously. We've all done things that, you know, we, that, that we regret and things like that, but he hasn't done anything wrong. I think he's actually done something very strong and very positive that, as I said, no other program ever has ever done so uh i have no he's my friend and i have no and I, I only met him during flip the seeds okay so he's my friend now and he's also my partner in this because he's brilliant at marketing okay and he has a good good heart there's a lot of people he helped during that um and he gave away a lot of his own money as well to help people out who were in need so and i know that for fact as well because i was there when that happened as well so that's that's a little backstory on that, and I and, and I feel you had a right to know. So, um, if you get the negative stuff on your posts, um, just delete it, block the person. Same with the chats. But if you want to look at the good side of this, it means everyone's seeing us. Okay, as I said, we're a threat to other programs, which is sad because I'm not trying to kill and destroy other programs. I'm just trying to grow this one. People will see it as competing. I'm not. I'm just trying to give you guys the best future you can have. Okay, I'm not saying don't do other programs, all other programs are scams. I don't do that. I know a few that are, but <laughs> but but this one isn't. And and, and, there, and there are some good programs out there. So um, I'm not here trying to destroy them. I'm just trying to here to help build your lives and, and my life as well. Um, as you saw today, I put a post up, uh, my pet sanctuary. I made an account in the pet sanctuary's name. And um, the money I made from that will go towards uh, setting up the, for the pet sanctuary and everything like that. Um, Terry Phillips will be my partner in the pet sanctuary. So um, uh, she's, a, she's a lady who knows exactly what she's doing. She's brilliant with animals, and uh, she's been a friend of mine for about nine, ten years now. So um, we're, we're going to go in cahoots together with the, um, with the pet sanctuary. So it's ours, and uh, it was actually her daughter that came up with the name Twinkle Star Pet Sanctuary. So, um, so that's what the name we're going to be using. I can market that. <laughs> I can market just about anything, but I can definitely market Twinkle Star. So... Um, uh, so that's great. Um, so I'm very excited about that, and um, and I'm sure Terry, when she when she cycles as well, will probably make a few in the pet sanctuary's name as well. So um, that's fantastic, and uh, and I hope you all have dreams, you know, like that. Um, and and when you are making new accounts, you usually make them in your name and things like that. Make one, make one for your dream. It just helps you focus. I think it's made me focus. This is what I want. I need this one to cycle. What do I got to do to do that? Bang. Follow that PDF I put in. It's a good way of doing it. Make sure you're with everywhere you're supposed to be and, uh, and, and, and liking and commenting and sharing and things like that. And uh, with the ad, obviously it's cut and paste. Don't share it. Cut the words out. Put it on your timeline. Put the picture there. Bang. It'll get seen by so many more than if you just share it. Not many people will see it. About a percentage will see it as compared to if you do it yourself. So, um, so that was good. I was, I'm really excited about making that account. I had a big smile on my face, you know, big cheesy grin as I'm doing it, um, and funded it. And I'm, actually, it's good to make accounts right now because Bitcoin's right down because um, there's a there was a big uh, Bitcoin owner who sold off about four hundred million dollars worth of Bitcoin, and that's why the price dropped. So, if you're wondering why the price dropped, that's why the price dropped. Four hundred million dollars was sold of Bitcoin, so the price has gone down. That guy will probably be smart. Go okay. It's gone down this far. I'll buy. I'll buy a ton back, and he'll make. He'll buy more Bitcoin. That's that's what he does. So um, 
Uh, so it'll go back up again like it always does. So um, that was a bit of information you probably didn't know, hey? There you go. I, I know everything. It's, it's amazing how much I know. And it's even more amazing how much I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, so if you've got to make more accounts and stuff, whatever your dream is, do that. Like the Smith Family... Yeah, the Smith Family Trust or something like that. So you've got something to leave for the kids or, or you know, little Kyle's College Fund or something like that or, uh, or you know, anything like that. I, I, think, I, think, I think it's fun, but it also gives me focus and I'm sure it will give you focus because when you see your dream written down, you know, um, you really want to make that, you know, uh, come to fulfilment because you really believe it with a passion and passion's everything uh, when it comes to succeeding got to have passion you know you can't be halfway about it you've got to have passion so um yep so that's that uh the ads are brilliant uh, uh mandy's made some more um pictures as well uh for around the world stuff and everything like that absolutely glorious she used to work in marketing too so she understands the. if you if you look at the pictures the, the vibrancy of the colors and things like that really stand out as opposed to a lot of other pictures you see so they're absolutely fantastic and i love them um Let's see, uh, what else is going on? Yep, I've got to go through the T's and C, uh, T, Terms and Conditions and the, uh, the FAQ. Uh, I'll go through that. Um, I'll check with Tom tomorrow about the, uh, the French video of my Level 3 strategy being done, see if that's all, all fixed. There might be some edits needed or something like that. Um, and Mid Phoenix, I'm going to be probably sending you some PDFs to convert over to French as well. Um, let's see, what else? What else? <laughs> There's so much going on. Oh, it's so exciting. I love it. I love every bit of it. Yeah, so my marketing advice is get stuck in with the cutting and pasting and things like that. Anything, anyone trolling it, being negative, just get rid of it. Don't argue with them. If it's real, like really negative, if it's some saying, oh, these things never work, and then you can go, well, have a look at this and see what you think, right? That's not really being negative. That's like the, like the rest of us. We've seen a lot of things before, and then you do get something that looks too good to be true. A lot of people are very negative about it these days. Uh, that's that's why I made this because I was just so sick of everyone getting screwed over. So, um, you know, I'm here. Trust in me. Uh, if you do have a problem with trusting the program because of Tom, the evil man, um, or me, uh, message me. I'll do a Zoom call with you so you can see me and talk to me and ask you questions. As long as you're going to be civil enough, I don't. I don't mean you have to be nice. I just mean you have to be civil. You know, don't go in and start accusing me of things and stuff like that. You ask me direct questions, I'll answer direct questions every time. So um, a bit of respect both ways. I'm respecting you enough to even listen to you uh, if, 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 if you're not happy with something. And, and, and I'm here for that. That's, that's all I want. I just, you know, it's, it's not about pulling the wall over your eyes. It's about making you see the truth. I'm trying to actually take the, the, the blinders from your eyes so you can actually see the truth. You know, we've been told since we were born what to wear, what to think, where to go, who to be with, what's right and what's wrong. You know, that we're so controlled these days, we don't open up our minds to think for ourselves anymore. We're just controlled uh, in a lot of cases. And um, I, 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 all I want to try and, try and do is open up your eyes a bit. So, and it's a bit scary, but open up your eyes a bit. And I'll tell you, when you get used to seeing things, not from everyone else's point of view, but your own, your life gets a lot better. It really, really does. Not everyone will always agree with you, of course, but you're in a group of people here who have opened up their minds and are starting to open up their eyes about what can be done and why we don't have to fit in with everyone else, okay? We're a group of individuals, but guess what? We're all one, you know? So we're all different, but we're all the same at the same time. It's, it's a beautiful thing, and uh, that's why I'm proud to work with you all the time. So... Uh, I don't think there was anything major else I had to do. Um, sorry, thinking. So many things going through my head. Uh, it's like Grand Central Station up there. It really is. It's, it's very noisy. Uh, let's see. No, I think that's about it for tonight. I uh, really wanted to cover that marketing part. Uh, that was really important. Well done to the ladies getting, getting, uh, getting paid. So I think they've put up posts already, I believe. Yeah, they have. I have. I saw them. Good on me. Um, they put up posts already to prove that they've been paid. And that was by Tom, the evil man. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so he's doing, he's doing well. Um, we'll be thinking up of more promotions and, and, and things like that to come. Uh, always want to keep this fresh and alive and buzzing. 
But yeah, right now with Bitcoin being so low, I think I'll be buying a few accounts because it's it's cheapest chips right now. So um, uh, before it does skyrocket up, and it will do, it will skyrocket up very very soon. And um, and uh, yeah, we're we're we're, we're going to see some major uh, major climbs in Bitcoin this year. So uh, I'm very excited about it, and it'll make my bank balance look good. So. Um, Okay, that's it from me. I'll keep it short enough for you so you don't fall asleep on me. I love you all very, very much. Um, if you need to get in contact with me, please do. Um, and I'll try and answer every message I can. I get so many, it's it's ridiculous. But um, but I love it anyway because I get to talk to you guys because uh, we're all of one mind. All right, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.